Hey there, hello and bonjour and welcome to my channel. I am very excited as always, I guess. I'm always excited to be reviewing today the He's Her Lobster palette from the Friends Series 2 collaboration with Makeup Revolution. Hey. <laughs> So this palette, just like the Open the Door palette that I did in my previous review, has 21 lovely shades and this really cute little lobster design on the front. But what does this one look like on the inside? Well, you can probably tell a little bit from my face currently. But this one is a lot more of a neutral warm palette um, with kind of more reds and oranges and things like that. It does have a few, a few, like four cool-ish toned colors and the rest are quite warm. So this one and the open the door, the frame looking palette, those are the only two I picked up from the series two launch just because the other one wasn't really up my alley, but also like how iconic is the whole he's her lobster phrase. I can't. I can't. It's so good. But I'm very excited about this color story. I know Makeup Revolution has been pretty bomb lately with all the eyeshadow palettes I've been trying. So as always, with larger palettes, I'm going to be doing three looks for you today to showcase this palette, give you some ideas, let you know how it works, and at the very end, give you my overall thoughts on this palette. So if you would like to see this look and two others, please keep on watching. All right, so to start off this look, we're gonna go in with Vegas, this lovely nude color as a wash over the lids, and then start deepening the crease with the trifle. Okay, Vegas is a lot more peachy orange than I thought. It looks a lot more nude in the palette. All right, it's a bit of a surprise. <laughs> Okay, next on the lid, we're gonna go in with spray tan, which is this gorgeous copper shimmer. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> okay, and to finish off the look, we're gonna do bagpipes, this deep red underneath, and legendary on the inner corner. Legendary is a shimmer, but it is more of a peachy, orangey tone, so it should go really well with this look. Okie dokes, I'm gonna quickly finish my face off camera and I'll be right back. Oh, why did this tie together so well? I used, what's this one called again? Oh, and they never have shade names. This is number seven powder lipstick by Kiko Milano, which first of all has a magnetic cap. It's really fun. Not the point. Um, that's the lipstick I used to, to tie this look together and I feel like it really complemented the under eye shade and overall I'm so happy with how it turned out as always pretty much. Obviously I did a lash and a nice little soft pinky pink so that it looks all blushy and cute and wintry and I'm so happy with this look. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. This isn't really exactly the look I would have thought with this palette, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not shocked, but I don't know. I'm just getting hyper. But, ah, uh, it's so pretty. It's so nice. It's so nice. No issues with the colors. So gorgeous. Imagine this look for, like, Thanksgiving, even Halloween and Christmas. Ah, oh, perfection, if I may say so myself super super happy with this so far obviously it's just one look we'll see with the rest but so far really digging this palette really digging it all right let's go on to look number two all right so for look number two the first thing we're gonna do is go into the shade race car bed and do that all throughout the crease and buff it up Alright, 
next we're gonna go into some of the cooler tone colors we're gonna do nubbin on the inner and outer corner and baloney straight down the middle And to finish off this look, we're going to go with this cool toned taupey color on the underneath. That one is New York and then Planiversary on the inner corner. I thought that was it, but I feel like something's missing. So I'm just going to go in with Rosita the Cedar on that outer corner and deepen it a little bit to give it a bit more pop. All right, and as always, gonna finish the look off camera and I'll be right back. And here is look number two and it turned out so nice as well. I wasn't sure, I was gonna kind of skip the lashes for this one because it turned out quite neutral and I wasn't sure what to do with the lips, but oh my God, where did it, where is it? I dug it out of my lip archives. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Bumble. It's one of my all time favorite shades and one I've actually rebought after I used it up and I forgot how gorgeous it was and nobody wears liquid lips anymore. So it's like, oh, my baby. Anyways, I'm so happy with that one. Gosh, I just, lashes, lashes just fix everything. Wish they could fix my life. Anyways, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like I said, it, it did end up being quite soft. Honestly, the shade New York, maybe, you know what? It's not that it's not pigmented. I think it's just so close to my skin that it doesn't really come up too much. But there is something on the under eye, believe it or not. And Nubbin and Belonely, they, they're quite bright, but I don't, Oh, ooh, okay, that's, see? This is one of those where you need to layer, oh, I just ruined the whole makeup, <laughs> whoops. Uh, where you need to layer brush and finger for the brightest pop, oh my gosh, now I have to fix that. <laughs> have no fear, have no fear, it's all good. But very, very lovely, very shimmery, actually I have to do baloney now, don't I? Ooh! All right, well that was the issue. Because in the last few palette, if you've seen my other videos, I found recently that especially with Makeup Revolution, you really don't need to use your finger for shimmers to make them pop. They're excellent on a brush. These two, for some reason, they're still really lovely with a brush, but the finger makes it, you know? So that's awesome and I'm very happy. And one thing I've been noticing, like these Vegas and I used race car bed for this one. Vegas was for the first one. They're a lot more warm orange tone on the face than they look like in the pan. And I'm wondering if it's because of the kind of bright, bright orange packaging that you can't tell, but just do keep that in mind. I find these two look quite neutral in the pan, but they actually have quite a reddish undertone to them. So just beware but that's what playing with palettes is all about. Okay, and yeah, I'm, I'm just, I don't wanna take the slip off. It's so nice, but yeah, oh, so nice, so nice, so nice. I'm very happy. Overall, again, still quite happy with this one. I think I preferred the first look, but it was just a bit more kapow. Yeah, the lips stole the show for me in this one, and that's not even what I'm reviewing. Anyways, love, love, love this palette so far. Let us proceed to look number three. All right. The last look. <laughs> All right, let's get going. So we're gonna start, of course, in the crease, which is what I always do. And we're gonna go in with the shade, could it be? Oh, this one actually came up as quite a fluorescent orange, which is interesting. Hmm. 
All right, next we're gonna go into the darkest shade in the palette, Stevie the TV. That's gonna go in the inner and outer corner. And then we're gonna do this shimmery red little round waffles in the middle. in with could I be gonna softly blend out the outer portion oh my god that's stunning that's one of the most beautiful wearable reds I've seen because it has those kind of golden reflux. Oh, I'm just tapping it in with my finger and blending it to the brown. Oh, I am so in love with that color. Look at it. It's like, even as the transitions into the brown, it goes kind of like from red to gold. Oh, little round waffles is stunning. Now I'm just putting too much on, but that's okay because I love it so much. Mmm, gorgeous. Let's add a little bit of Stevie the TV back in. I'm obsessed with this look. All right, to finish it off, we're gonna go in with two more shades. Um, one is Transponster, because how can we not? And the other is Ski Trip, this shimmery gold, which now that I see that, I'm like, I'm obsessed with that color. Oh, um, that's gonna. Oh. Transponster is going on the under eye today. And Ski Trip is gonna do the little center of the under eye and the inner corner. Oh, why does this look so beautiful? You know, similar thing, I really like Transponster, but just for how dark this look ended up, I'm gonna go back in with uh, Rosita the Cedar. Or do I want 10? No, I want, I want Rosita. 10 is too orange. And basically do what I just said, but with this color. Oh, oh that gold, oh my gosh. Is that too much? I just feel like my eye is on fire, you know, like in a good way, in an artistic way. This is more of that chunky texture I was talking about that was in the Enchanted palette. All right, like I said, gonna finish this look off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> and here is the final look. Why does it feel so Christmassy? This is Christmas. It's Christmas. This look turned out so nice and so deep and in a, I don't know how to even describe it. It's just a different look than I expected when I originally thought of the concept. And what I did for the lips, <laughs> excuse me, um, we got the ColourPop lippy stick in Love Life and I also added the Fenty Mademoiselle in Shoddy. This one's more red, this one's more brown for a lovely deeper red and deep with the Kiko number no. seven lip liner. And you know what? You know what? Is it Christmas yet? Is this year over yet? This just feels right, doesn't it? It feels right. And this is the only tree that I can get right now because France is still in confinement and all of the Christmas things and clothes and things that aren't deemed necessary are blocked off from purchase, so. You know, this is my life. What is this year? What has this year been? Not the point, but oh my goodness, that red, the <coughs> little round waffles, 
that is one of the most unique gorgeous colors you see it, it almost doesn't look red it almost looks orange and that's what I absolutely love because it's like this duochrome red gold and it works as such a gorgeous transition because sometimes you plop on a shimmer and you kind of have to blend and it doesn't work this one you drag out a little bit into the other color and it just becomes the most stunning stunning transition and I'm so happy with how this turned out I did a nice little I've been using the Roxy blush palette from makeup revolution for actually I didn't use it for the second look but for the first and this look and I did a mixture between these two because I wanted a nice little rosy Christmas cheek I'm getting hyper because I'm so excited but oh my goodness how beautiful how beautiful mm. yes I'm just, I'm so happy. And that gold is that texture that I mentioned um, while I was doing it. But you see, it's a little bit more of a chunky gold. This one doesn't have a lot of fallout, but it is a thicker consistency and it's a very gorgeous, like deep gold. That's so nice. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. So let us proceed to my final thought. Why do I always do the hand dancing? I need to start voguing. I feel like that's what my body's telling me to do and uh, I need to get on it. All right, what are my final thoughts on the He's Her Lobster palette? First and foremost, I'll say this. I like this palette a lot more than the previous one, the Open the Door palette, the purple one. Um, even though the other one's more beautiful because it's like a piece of art. But this one is still super, super cute and I just, I absolutely love it. I feel like with the previous palette, it was difficult to make looks that looked a lot different from each other. Whereas here, they're all in the same realm, of course, like I said, there's a lot of warm orangish tones. However, I feel like you can really make different looks with this palette, which is what I really, really like. And overall as well, my preference is warm nudes, <laughs> if we will, for colors. So that's right up my alley. The color that stole the show for me, as I just said, was Round Little Waffles. It is just so unique and like nothing I've ever seen. The mattes are great, the shimmers are great. Um, the only one, what was it? Yeah, New York, because it's basically my skin color. You can kind of see it there. Let's wipe that away. Why did I do that? But just to show you my point, that one didn't really work for me, but it's just too similar to who I am. I really pleasantly surprised. I loved Stevie the TV. Um, just because some deep shades sometimes aren't great and this one blended out well, packed on well, overall really nice. Could I be? That's the color I use to blend out with as well. Really nice. And sometimes you have to be patient because when you're doing a brown with a different color, it can get really muddy. So I did have to go back in with both colors a few times, but take your time. Turned out great. And honestly, yeah, I absolutely love it. I had no no issues. The shimmers are great and buttery. The mattes are really pigmented and soft. And I absolutely love this palette. So I definitely recommend it. Keep in mind, like I mentioned in my last video, I've had a little bit of a uh, feeling every time I buy new stuff because I've been doing YouTube for about half a year now and I already have way too many palettes. And if it wasn't for this being friends and the lobster packaging and all that stuff, I don't know if I would have purchased it. I am happy that I do have it and I really feel like it's a gorgeous palette that I will use and is really great for day to day. So just keep that in mind. Are you getting it because it's friends or you love the color story? Because the quality is great. So if you love the color story, absolutely. And if you love friends, again, go for it. I'm a fan. If that's the only, only reason and you don't really care about the colors or whatnot, don't, don't waste your money. There are so many releases, save for something you really care about. I, I happen to care, I care a lot. And one other thing I quickly like to mention, I kind of said it a little bit in the video earlier, this very bright orange packaging kind of throws off, for me personally, my interpretation of the colors. What does that mean? That means that these two colors, as I said before, they came off quite nude, and actually, I mean, they kind of do on my finger, but when you put them on your face, they do have a very warm undertone, an almost light, light orange undertone. So just keep that in mind if that's something that's not at all up your alley and you're thinking, oh, they're all browns. No, no, they're all very, very warm and half of them with orange undertone browns. Important important but yeah I still love it and it still works out really well and blends out really well so those are my final thoughts 
very happy with that. I don't believe there's going to be a series three. And also I mentioned before, I did not get the taxi cab palette because I hated the packaging <laughs> and the colors inside. They're lovely, but they're kind of, there are a lot of neutrals, which I love, but neutrals that I already seem to own. So I was like, Oh, I'm already getting these two. Let's, let's leave it there. So yeah, I'm curious to see if they're going to do another round because these were so hugely popular, but also it's kind of like, Okay, that was great. Let's let's leave it there. Let's not milk the cow too much. I don't know who milks the cow like this. It's like this. But you got my point. <laughs> oh, I'm way too hyper. I'm just so happy. I, I honestly was super pleasantly surprised because I wasn't disappointed with the last one, but it was just not as exciting as I hoped it would be. But this one, the opposite. Obsessed. Obsessed. So yes, love it, love it, love it. Have a good think. It's Christmas. There's a crap ton of releases coming out. Everyone's trying to get your money. Let's let's enjoy what we have. Try our best to use what we have, because we all have a lot, for the most part, I think. And really reflect for 2021. Do I need this? Am I getting this? Am I getting it because of the hype and the clout? Or because all these influencers put out a video, even though two days later, there'll be the next new palette. Let's have a think. And I'm guilty of it too. I'll admit that 100%. But my hope for 2021 is that I really reflect on what I'm purchasing a little bit more. Don't make any rash decisions and try to be more creative with what I already have. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching my video. Hopefully this one was entertaining, fun, and informative for you and helped you make your decision. Let me know your thoughts down below. Which look was your favorite? I... I loved one and three. I did like them all, but what in number three? Number three, number one was good too. Anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. Did you buy this palette? Did you buy anything from the Friends series one or two? And do you hope there's gonna be a series three? What are your thoughts on that? I'm very curious. Also, if you haven't already, definitely please subscribe to my channel. I am new and growing, and it would mean very much to have you on this journey with me. I'm really hoping to get 200 by Christmas. I'm getting close, and thank you so, so much to everybody who's already subscribed and watching my videos and commenting. I really, really appreciate it, and I'm very, very grateful for you all. Other than that, you can catch me on social media at Slavic Chic. And I will hopefully, hopefully catch you guys in the next video. I have lots of fun and exciting things coming. Ah! All right. Bye, you guys.